Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened Tech Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku at rainbow status on the global side of the game. Now, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, I do want to quickly talk about his easy 8 details. So if you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute. So starting with his leader skill, it's Super Tech Types keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%, or extreme tech types, keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%. A super attack raises attack and defense uh, for one turn and causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And his passive is attack and defense plus 130%, high chance of randomly changing key spheres of a certain type, tech excluded, to rainbow key spheres, attack and defense plus 30% per rainbow key sphere obtained. And attacks effective against all types for 7 turns from start of turn. And as far as his links go, as you can see, they're basically level 1. I didn't really have a chance to work on him too much, but he does have a level 5 attack skill orb. So there you go, that is the EZA Tech Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. And now we're gonna jump into the Fused Fighters or Fused Warriors. I think it's Fused Fighter stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. So we're running a Majin Buu Saga team on this first rotation. We've got pretty much an ideal setup with the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku linked with the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And we also got some support from the uh, Fizz Tien. So let's give this guy... Uh, it looks like we can give him up to four rainbow orbs. Yep, that's four. Okay. So with 4 rainbow orbs, he's getting up to 190,888 defense. He started with 133,000, I think, so a pretty big jump right there. And uh, we'll just give a couple orbs to the Gotenks, a couple to the Tien, and let's see what kind of attack we can get on this first turn. So we tanked for 47, and we got about 4.5 mil attack. Now, of course, this is going to be effective because of uh, first seven turns. He does get attacks effective against all. And the Go Tanks with the 11 key super is actually slightly lower. Interesting. Okay, so the Goku got about 100,000 more than Go Tanks. Now, of course, keep in mind, we had a pretty good rotation. Okay, on that first turn, we got. Uh, Four rainbow key spheres, which I don't think is going to be something that happens super often. I would imagine, on average, we'll probably be looking at like two to three rainbow key spheres. Um, if we're lucky, some turns maybe one or none, because sometimes he doesn't change the uh, rainbow orbs, right? It's only a high chance, which means that 50% of the time he's going to be changing rainbow key spheres, but he's not going to be doing it all the time. So that's also something. To keep in mind but first turn about 200,000 defense actually after he supered you would have had over 200,000 defense because he does raise defense and attack on a super uh 4.5 million attack with attacks effective against all is very very good very very good it's just unfortunate that he does lose it after uh seven turns if he had that permanently i think ooh. okay we got four more here or more. So without support now, we're looking at 167,027 defense, which is still good. That's still good defense. Um, let's try to get a 12 or 11 key rather. There we go, 11 key super. I'll give these to Gohan. Yeah, so if he were to have attacks effective forever, or if it was something like, if you get two or more rainbow key spheres, then he gets attacks effective against all types. That would have been nice. I gotta be honest, that would have been really nice. So I don't like the fact he loses it. Um, outside of that, I mean, after he, yeah, after he loses attacks effective, that attack stat becomes a lot less impressive, I would say. Because if you think about something like uh, Int Gogeta, Int Gogeta is getting around 4 million, like at rainbow status, of course. Rainbow status getting around 4 million attack. Uh, per super and this guy is getting that um 
on a consistent basis, right? Like he's getting about 4 million every single turn and getting attacks affected. Oh no, hold on. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Let me, let, me, let me backtrack a bit. Let me backtrack a bit. So what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is Gogeta gets somewhere around the same attack stat, but the difference for him is that Gogeta will always have attacks effective against all types, whereas the Goku loses it after seven turns. And defensively, the Goku can reach higher heights, right? He can get more defense than the uh, than the Goku, or sorry, the Gogeta. But the Gogeta has a medium chance to dodge with a Rainbow Key Sphere. So I think if you average it out, if you include like the dodge chance, um, let's say defensively they're like somewhat even. Okay, somewhat equal, even though Gogeta has a lower defense stat he does have the chance to dodge, which increases his defensive capabilities. Um, so offensively, I guess Gogeta would be more consistent, if that makes sense. And, ooh, okay, so this is gonna be... Uh, oh, man, I can't even attack. <laughs> this turn sucks, I can't, I literally can't get a super with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So, we're gonna have to put Gotenks there. Uh, let's get him an 11 key super and ooh, we can give these to Goku, but it's not really gonna matter because he's not gonna get to attack. But um, I'm just comparing obviously the Goku to other 120 leads and I don't think so far uh, he's impressed me as much as I feel like Gogeta did when he first you know, arrived on the scene when his EZA first came out. And especially when you compare it to something like, um, man, if you compare him to like Cooler, for example, I, I don't think he's as impressive as Cooler either. I mean, I knew coming in that he wasn't gonna blow me away like Cooler did at first. And don't take any of what I'm saying, I'm trying to be objective here, right? Don't take any of what I'm saying as a knock against Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. I'm just trying to make some comparisons in my mind right now, and I feel like Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku is probably somewhere in the middle of the pack um, as far as 120 lead EZAs go. He's not as good as Cooler. Uh, it's debatable whether he's better than Gogeta. He's not as good as the Super Saiyan 4s. That's already 4 right there. So he's probably somewhere in the range of like 5th or... Sixth or something like that. I mean, let me let me take a quick look at Oh tanks is passive. Okay, so after the first seven turns We do lose The attack and defense and chance to dodge So I do think he's better than go tanks. <laughs> I, I do think he's better than go tanks, but um, He's probably fifth I would say on the list All right, let me give that's a lot of orbs for him. That feels like a waste. But four rainbow orbs once again. Defense 181,000. Very good. And uh, we'll just give these guys a few. So yeah, right now, I mean, obviously, I still could use him more. Got to test him more a little bit to uh, get a full sense of like what he can do. I think he's going to be quite good on Super Battle Road. On Extreme Super Battle Road, he's still going to be good, but his defense might not hold up as well. And... Um, you know, for longer events like this, he's not stacking, but he does have enough defense to, like, hold his own. You just have to be a little bit careful. Oh, my God. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay. <laughs> got scared for a second, man. I got scared for a second. I was like, yo, that super would have been bad. Would have been bad news for Gotenks. Uh, luckily, we were on turn 7, so we still had one more turn of dodging. Um, what was I saying again? I completely forgot at this point. Uh... Yeah, so if I were to rank him, I would say probably fifth, fourth or fifth behind uh, Super Saiyan 4s, Cooler, and maybe Gogeta. Maybe Gogeta. But I, have to, I would have to think about that a little bit more. Somewhere f around four or five. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that. Do you guys think that's too low? Do you think it's too high? Do you think I'm being unfair? I don't think I am. I think I'm being quite fair, but you know, I could, I could be wrong, right? It's it's still very early right now. I only, I've only had like a few hours to uh, test this guy out. So this turn we can only get 
It looks like one Rainbow Key Sphere. Luckily, luckily we uh, have type advantage, so I don't don't really have to worry about him too much. So 124,000 defense, that's fine. Uh, I am a little bit worried about Go Tanks. He has 124,000 too, or close. So we should be okay. We should be okay. <laughs> we'll see. I'll give these to Batito. If we happen to die this early on, I suppose it'll be okay. I suppose it'll be okay. Okay, so as you can see, the, the attack stat is now much lower with only one Rainbow Key Sphere. We went from uh, getting 4, 4.5 to now 3. With no support though. Of course, no support. But nonetheless, a big, big drop off there. So on turns where... Ooh. Ouch. Oh, okay. You know what? I can live with that. I can live with that. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Um, but yeah, some turns you're just not going to get a lot of Rainbow Key Spheres. And I guess that's where some of the cons inconsistency will, will come into play as well. And, uh, you know, when you compare that to Int Gogeta, who will consistently give you the same attack stat or, you know, same damage output every turn. Uh... I would have to say, yeah, he does actually, like, Gogeta does actually compare more favorably to the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Goku. I would probably put into Gogeta above Super Saiyan 3 Goku at this point. Okay, so I do not believe we need a uh, an item here. But just to be super safe, I'm a pop an Android 8. <laughs> Cause what if what if uh you know the 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 Saiyan man at the end gets supered? That would kill us. So just to make sure we stay alive here, I pop the item. That was probably not necessary. We are getting a Dokkan attack, but it doesn't matter if you get a Dokkan attack and heal up next turn if you don't make it to the next turn, right? So I think we're gonna pop that item. Or oh, we already did, but I'm just trying to give my justification for why. We use that item. Okay, anyways. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, so far. Impressions. Good damage, not crazy. But for today's standards, good damage, but not crazy. And uh, I would say very good defense, but not amazing defense. Very good defense, though. If you're getting close to 200,000 um, on a consistent basis, or not super consistent, but Let's say somewhere between 130,000 to... See? Yo, if I didn't pop that item, we would have died. <laughs> so, good call good call for me, man. That was a good call on my end. Um, but as I was saying, you know, if... Uh, you're getting around 150,000 defense consistently, then yeah, you are a good defender. But at the same time, he's not going to be tanking supers. Uh that well like not as well of course as some of the real tanks like a super saiyan 3 vegeta or a golden frieza or uh a guy that can stack defense like the super saiyan or sorry the uh the gohan the tech gohan here now speaking of tech gohan his defense is looking a little bit rough a little bit rough so this turn what we're gonna do is pop a Whis. I know this guy can hit really hard. I know this Gogeta, or this Vegeta rather, can hit really hard. So we're going to use the Whis, let our Gohan still build up a bit more. And then uh, we can also have the Whis effect for next turn when the Super Saiyan 3 Goku comes around. And the Super Saiyan 3 Goku is tech with type disadvantage. So that also would have been a really bad time without any item effects active. And even though his defense can get pretty high, like I said, like I don't think it's going to be good enough to tank, honestly, a Vegito super here. So he does need an item still. I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah. Overall, good unit. <laughs> Overall, good unit. I, could, I think he could have been better. I do. I think he could have been better. Um, but I think maybe the cooler just set the bar too high. Like, this cooler is just so ridiculously good. Um, hold on. Let me see. Okay, let's put Gotenks there. Uh, I'm going to try to save those. So, I'll give one orb to Gotenks. I'll give 
two rainbow to Goku. That's going to be 152,000 defense with the super after. Should be okay. And, uh, yeah, what was I saying again? Man, I was going somewhere. <laughs> I forgot. I don't know. I forgot. Uh, it'll come back to me. It'll come back to me at some point during the video. Um, man, I'm trying to remember it now. It's really bothering me. Okay, we got a crit there. Nice. The damage would have been really bad without a crit. So luckily we got it. And as you can see with the item, you know, we can still tank just fine. But if we were to get supered, it would be rough, guys. I think I died once this Vegito. I feel like I did at some point die when we got a uh, when we got super time. Maybe. Either way, better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. We're not gonna pop an item this turn though. Uh, if I need to, I'll pop it for turn after or like the next time uh, the Gogeta after basically. But yeah, man, I'm pretty firm in my belief that, like, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku is probably middle of the pack. Or, like, slightly above middle. Fifth would be still better than half of the 120 leads, right? So, yeah, yeah somewhere in the middle of the pack. Um, I do wish he kept his attacks effective against all. I don't know if that's too crazy. I don't know if that's too much. But that's just what I would have preferred. And uh, I think he hits hard enough. But at the same time, could hit harder. Could hit harder. And uh, his defense is good, but not amazing. So, like, just overall, if I were to rate the unit, I'd give, like, a 7.5 out of 10. You know, like, just kind of average. Maybe above average. Maybe average is too harsh. I think, I think, I think average might be too harsh. Um, I'm going to give him... Let me think. Uh, one sec, actually. Let me see what I want to give to see. I don't want to give up this Rainbow Key Sphere, so maybe I'll just give one orb to Go Tanks. Give these to Goku, and uh, then we'll give these to Vegito. Okay, yeah. Um, I think average might be too harsh. Actually, he's he's above average. He's above average. I think I've been a little bit spoiled just by like some of the other units more recently that we've seen like cooler for example i mean it's hard to not compare him to cooler right just because he was the last eza um on global um ooh, are we gonna get supered are we gonna get supered that would not be good oh no we're good we're good okay perfect um and you know if, if you compare him to like other dokkan fest that came out recently like Super Vegeta, for example, like there's no real comparison there. But with that said, he, he's good. He, he's really good, in fact. Um, above average for sure. <laughs> and that's really all I can say about him at, at this moment in time. I think I think that's all I can really say. Now let me see what I can do with this Gohan. Maybe I should transform. Let's transform. Let's transform. Why not? We're at the last stage now. Have a little bit of fun. We've pretty much seen exactly uh, everything there's to see about the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. And uh, I'm curious about your opinions. Where would you rank him among all of the 120% EZAs? I mean, he is the last one. Um, and he 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 definitely is not is not the best one. That's for sure. He's definitely not the best one, but he's definitely not the worst either. Okay, that title firmly belongs to Super Saiyan 3 Broly. No question. Super Saiyan 3 Broly, worst 120 lead EZA by a mile. Um, and I like Shinemba a lot. I like uh, I like uh, Super 17 a lot. I like Kid Buu a lot. But I would say those guys are like probably in the bottom five, right? So if if Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku is at the bottom of the top five. Those other guys are definitely below the below him. Yeah, I would say so. So there you go, guys. That is uh, the showcase for Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. We are gonna finish this stage. 
just because why not but that's pretty much all uh there is to say about him let me see i'm gonna leave it we're not gonna use any items 190,000 defense is quite good in my opinion and let's see give him a 24 key super or it's not 24 sorry uh give him a 12 key super and uh this should do it i actually want to see a super attack here on Super Saiyan 3 Goku, just to see how well we can tank this super attack here. I mean, we should be over 200,000 defense now. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's see it. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I like that. He ate that like a champ. He took that like a champ. There's not, nothing negative I can say about that. That's a good showing, man. That was a really good showing. I still would have been concerned about dying if it was to the Vegito, but against the Gogeta, type neutral. Um, That was quite good. That was quite good. Yo, okay, last, last stage here. Or rather, uh, last attack, probably. Gonna get the transformation. It's an animation I haven't seen in a long time, too, so given the chance I'm gonna pop it and uh, let's finish this with a counter I guess here we go okay <laughs> and there he goes all right guys well that is the tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku angel Goku uh, showcase let me know how you guys feel about him uh, where does he rank on your list I think number five for me I think number five for me but that could change as we go along right like over time maybe as I use him more in different situations I might change my mind but for now I'm pretty confident that he is the fifth best 120 lead easy a and that's nothing to be ashamed of there's, there's nothing to be ashamed of because there's some really good ones out there. And um, that's the showcase, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out